There are many other famous relics there. Aisha related that just before revelation descended unto him, the Prophet started to see true visions in his sleep. Whatever vision came to him was like the daybreak. Then was he made to yearn for seclusion, so that he used to go to the cave of Hera, where he would spend several long nights purifying himself in worship before returning home to his wife Khadija. He would then take more provisions and return to the cave until truth came to him while he was in the cave. The angel came to him and said, Recite. The prophet replied, I am not a reciter. So he took hold of him to the point where he was struggling to breathe. Then the angel let go and said, Recite. And he said, I am not a reciter. So he took hold of him a second time to the point where he struggled to breathe. Then he let him go and said, Recite. In the name of your nurturing Lord who created, created humankind from a clinging substance. Recite, for your nurturing Lord is the most generous, the one who taught by the pen, taught humankind what it knew not. And those were the first verses of Surah Al-Alaq, which of course Muslims learn um, at a very, very young age, amongst other surahs. So the messenger of God returned home with this, and he was trembling at the core of his heart. When he saw Khadija, he pleaded, cover me, cover me. So she covered him until his shock receded. He told Khadija what happened and said, I'm afraid for myself. To which she responded, no, by God, he shall never disgrace you. You maintain the bonds of kinship. You are truthful in speech. You bear the burden of the weak. You help the depraved. You comfort the guest and you support the bearers of truth. Then she took him to her paternal cousin, Warak ibn Nofel, who was a Christian and knew Hebrew, Hebrew and wrote from the Bible in Hebrew. He was an old blind man. She implored him, O oh, cousin, listen to your nephew. So Waraka asked him, what did you see? And when the prophet told him, he said, this is the angel who descended upon Moses. Oh, how I wish I was a youth. How I wish I could be alive to witness. Witness it when your own folk, folk <coughs> will drive you out. The messenger of God asked him, are they really going to drive me out? Waraka said, yes. No one has ever come with what you have been given, except that he is opposed. How I wish I could see your day so I could support you completely. And this is, in fact, the cave of Hera itself. And when people go on the pilgrimage to Mecca, of course, this is one of the important sacred spots that they go to visit. So if we look at some 